Greetings and welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to explain how to change a texture on a prim link set and explain what a link set is because you may not know. All right. So, <clears throat> this is a prim. <laughs> I even got out the old selection beans. Yeah, to, you know, to help those watching. Because it could be quite hard to see the detail and know, like, uh, what prim you're fiddling with when you're dealing with prims and a link set. So, okay. All right. When you have a prim linked, connected, joined with another, that's a link set. If you just have a prim, it's not connected to anything, so it's just a single prim. But once you link the single prim to another prim, or even others uh, prims then this becomes the link set so let's say that <clears throat> you want to texturize one of these prims all right now i want to point something out here let me zoom in you can see this yellow boundary line or highlight line that means that it's your parent prim your root prim your parent prim and root prim are the same terminology the blue highlighted means that it's your child prim or secondary prim you know, parents, they have children, becomes their child. Same thing here. Now, I'll get into Prim Lincoln in another video. I'm doing this specific video because I slept through <laughs> an appointment date that I had with somebody in world that was wanting to know how to modify a texture on a prim in a link set. That's why I'm doing this video. Yeah. I have some turkey. Turkey sandwich. Mm, boy, that's good. I fell asleep. Knocked me out. Man, I slept for five hours. I'm like, oh no. So anyway, let's get down to it. So you want to texture one of these prints, but you don't want to delink everything. So what you do is you right click and then you go into edit linked. You check that box. And then you select the prim. You just left click on the prim that you want to te texturize. Now you see the blue highlight here. It's only on this prim. Notice that these other prims, they don't have a highlight on them. That means that they won't be affected. So we will hit the texture box and, you know, you can take a texture from your, your inventory. Yeah. You can search for texture. You can go into the local. Once you hit this add button, then you can grab a texture from your hard disk on your computer. But we won't do that right now. We're just gonna go inventory and <clears throat> let's go with um, tree bark. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Okay, now you see that all. So I go out of edit mode and the prims are still linked, yet this prim here <clears throat> is the only one that's all the way around textured, right? Which is which is what you know, which was what was wanted. Now, let's say here that I just want to change this prim. I just want to add texture to this side here. Now, on a prim, these these sides they're called texture faces or faces of a prim in which the texture goes on. You know, it's like putting makeup on your face. You could put different types of makeup on your face. Same goes <clears throat> Same goes for a prim. You could put different types of textures on a prim. So let's just do what we did before. You can go into edit length. And that will change the whole prim. Yep. Now, but I want to select a face. I, I want this specific face here. I don't want the top. I don't want the sides. And I don't want the bottom. You know, like, I don't want to change the, my eyebrows, yeah? I don't want to change my cheeks, yeah? Just envision, you know, I'm trying to get the analogy, you know, about the different prim, fa prim faces, texture faces on a prim. I just want to change my... Uh, lipstick <laughs> okay I'll, I'll stop so I want to hit this radio button here select face now you see all of the faces are selected but we don't want that we just want this side so you just left click there and look all the circles with crosses are gone that indicates that only this prim face will be affected. So let's go ahead and change this texture. And what will we change it to? Hmm, let's see. A moon. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, okay, a moon. Okay, <clears throat> it's not, it's it's just, it is a moon, but not what I had in mind, but it'll work for this example. Yeah, anyway, I had done that ages ago, but okay. Now let's say that you want to change more than one face on a prim. And we'll use this one. Now we're still linked and we want to go into edit linked and you want to left click to choose this prim. You want to hit the radio button, the select face. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this prim face again. And you want to hold down the shift key Hold down the shift key if you're on a mic. I think it's the same. I don't know. I had a whole table the other day. Um, if you're on a mic, hit the equivalent to what a shift key is on a PC. <laughs> anyway, you hold down the shift and you just left click another prim face so oh, you don't want to do that okay so all right choose this one right make sure that the edit link and the select face radio button is still uh, toggled on which it is and we're going to choose the top <clears throat> so you hold down the shift key and with your mouse you press the left mouse button And then you let go. 
And then you see that we have that face and that face. The other faces are not selected. Okay. Now, in your edit window, it'll tell you the number of the face, the length number. This is for Firestorm. If you're using the SL client, it's the same principle. It is the same principle. All right. It's all the same principle. It'll tell you the number of the link face. And as you saw in that little pop up, it did say link number may not be accurate. Eh. Eh. The only reason why it's saying that is because it would deter it, it depends on the rotation of the pram, I think. But anyway, ignore that. It it works good enough. <laughs> All right. So okay. Like this would be face number four. And this would be face number zero. Zero because it's, you know, facing up, I would assume. And let's go over to the side here. And that would be face number one. Okay. So let's just go ahead and select three faces. We want to make sure the edit length is checked and the radio button select face is checked. And it is. And let's go ahead and select face zero. Hold the shift key down. Select another face. Face one. Let's go over here and select face two. All right. And we'll go ahead and do face four. Now I want to texturize these faces, but I don't want to texturize this side here nor the bottom. So we're just going to do what we did before. You want to uh, hit that texture button, texture box thing, bring up your uh, pick texture window. We're going to pick a texture and it's going to be of the sky. Okay. So, yep, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. <clears throat> That's what we wanted. And we wanted that too. Yep. See, look, we didn't want a texture there on that texture face. It's not there. We didn't want a texture there. That's not there either. So an overview. This is a link set. When you have a prim connected with one or, or, or one or more than one other prims, that's called a link set in order to um, edit a prim in a link set, hit the edit link button, and then choose the prim that you want to edit. And then you can like move it. Woo. Yay. Let's have a party. Oh yeah. Okay. If you want to just change the texture of that prim, then it'll say multiple and it'll say multiple because it will change the texture of all the multiple faces on that prim. So let's go with sky, but um, ah, that's an old picture, whatever. So, and it'll change all of it. Yeah. Okay. And then <clears throat> if you just want to change one face of a prim, you know, make sure that you're in edit linked. Yep. You have that box checked. You have the prim that you want to mod selected. You want to change this side, go into select face on the radio button, left click on the side, the face of the prim that you want to retexturize, go to your texture button, Put in your texture, you know, whatever. There you go. Yeah. So this is, uh, oh, this is going to be pretty short. 
but that's it from me i hope this is helpful um and uh yeah hope you learned something i learn something every day in second life and i try to pass it on to you all right see you the next video bye